We've all had trials that we've had to persevere to get through. We had to keep pushing forward. I want to talk to you about that today. Perseverance. Hello and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, when we have a problem in our lives or we have a circumstance or a roadblock or there's something that's in our way to get our job done, especially if the Lord is calling us to do something, we have to have perseverance. We have to fight through it. We have to go. Now, I'm not talking about if the Lord's closing a door for you and try to knock it down. I don't mean that. I'm saying that when Satan gets in your way, when the evil one tries to come and tries to discourage you, tries to stop you, you need to have perseverance. You need to get through it. You know, over in John 16, 33, the Bible tells us, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. God wants us to have peace in our heart. And he says, in this world, you will have trouble. So it's coming. We know we're going to have trouble. But it says, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So if we keep our faith pointed in the right direction, we keep believing, we keep depending on God to get us through it, we have perseverance, we're going to see results. We're going to see the devil has to flee. Now, I want to use a football analogy. I love football. And, you know, with the games that are playing, with the draft things happen, they're looking for the best players. And what they're looking for is a player that has perseverance, that's going to fight through. Now look at the different positions. I mean, if you have a running back, you want a running back that's going to hit the hole hard. He's going to get that ball and just go. He's going for daylight. No cutbacks, no crossbacks. That happens in high school and in college maybe, but not in the pros. And that's all, it's just a way with life. We can cut back during life and say, hey, we made it this time, or we got through, or we got stymied by this. But that's when we're growing up and when we're first learning, when we're first developing our faith, our beliefs. And, but we have to hit that hole running hard, get right through it, see that daylight and go. And it can, it's not just a star quarterback or a, a wide receiver or a running back, the people that get all the glory. Think of the linemen. Think of the people that you may be a lineman. You may not be a star running back. I mean, you could just be like, I'm a lineman. I'm, I'm opening up holes, man. I'm blocking. I'm blocking for the guy that's coming. Just like John the Baptist was blocking for Jesus. He knew he was coming and he was letting the people know. So that could happen. Even on the defensive side, it's like if the devil's coming at us, we're going to have to hold that line. We're going to have to charge. We're going to have to make a tackle. We're going to have to sit there and upset him. Get him out of our way. Get the ball back so we can be on the offensive. Have to have perseverance. And that's what they look for in a good football player. is somebody with perseverance. Somebody that's just going to go, 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 and go. And that's the same way we should be with our life. If we're doing something for God, we need to go, 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 and go. Hit that line hard. Get through. You see the wide opening hole, man. You run right through it. We don't just sit there and get the hand off and kind of look around. We go right for it. So have perseverance today. And if you're lacking that, just pray for it. Say, Lord, give me the perseverance I need to get through this time. I hope that blessed you today. And I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you, everyone, and have a wonderful day.